beautiful humans my name is Taryn and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel happy day seven nope happy day eight of bookmas so I've realized that I have been on YouTube for almost a year now and I have never ever ever done a Q&A so I asked my Instagram followers just to ask me any questions bookish related or non-bookish related and I figured I'd answer them today I should probably pull them up okay so our first question is how long were you a teacher and why did you decide to leave teaching oh okay hard question not really I guess I don't know okay I was a teacher for four years I graduated college at the University of South Florida go Bulls with my bachelor's in specifically middle grades math so I was able to teach math grades five through nine specifically so I well graduated and ended up moving back to uh, Fort Myers and I taught middle school math for the first three years. I taught pre-algebra to seventh graders so it was advanced math to seventh graders for my first two years. Algebra my last year in middle school to seventh graders as well and then my last year of teaching I taught geometry to ninth, tenth, and eleventh graders. So teaching was actually something that I always wanted to do. I remember in like tenth or eleventh grade I told my math teacher I was like this this I want to be a math teacher when I grow up for sure. I told my parents that they were like maybe not. So I actually started while wow, I'm going like a whole down a whole path but it's fine. I actually started off an accounting major in college and that lasted two years until I almost got kicked out of my sorority because my GPA was so low. So um switched to middle school math loved it okay I loved the kids I still that is like one thing that I miss the absolute most is my kids seeing them every single day being able to talk to them all the time all of that I miss so so much they were hands down my favorite part of the job ew I'm gonna cry and whenever I taught my seventh graders my second year that was COVID year so that like I only got to teach them for half a year but when I moved to high school I got to reteach some of them again as ninth graders and those kids are my babies. I love them so much. Anyway so the kids are 1000% not the reason that I left teaching. It is very much just the behind the scenes of it. I always prided myself on being an amazing teacher. I knew my kids. I knew how to teach my kids but a lot of higher ups in the teaching industry tend to micromanage and I didn't do well with that. I always told myself and I even told my kids last year that I was going to try to make it to five years and then I got my current job opportunity last year and I just I took it and I rolled with it and now here we are so now we're rolling into the next question and that is what is my day job so many people ask me this I am actually working for a home stager slash home designing company I have currently taken on the role as lead stager so I get to stage houses that go on the market and I love every single second of it we get the houses ready for the realtors or for the owners whoever wants to stage it and yeah it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Okay, next, moving away from my life for a little bit, we're going to answer some bookish questions. Who are my favorite YouTubers to watch? So if we're going the booktuber route, Destiny Sidwell is one of my faves. I mean, that whole little trio. We have Destiny, we have Sarah Caroli, and Haley Pham. That trio is just my favorite. I feel so old when I watch them. Like, I have always been the youngest everywhere. Like, I'm always friends with old people, older people, but like watching them makes me feel old. But I still, I love them. I love them so much. Another one is Larry Reads. If you want any type of romance recommendation, go watch Larry. She is amazing. I love her and her personality, an angel. I'm also really, really obsessed with Smosh. Like that entire channel, the gaming channel, the Smosh Pit channel, Smosh in general. They're the podcast that is out again. I'm, I'm like a deep dive. I love them. I love them everything about them. 
but that's just kind of like mindless watching. Oh, another booktuber is Olivia Reads a Latte. Her, her vlogs are some of my favorite to just put on and just like relax with. They're so calming. I love them. The Try Guys, obviously love them. They're great. Good Mythical Morning and The Basement Yard. Those are probably like my top, however many I just named. Those are who I watch the most of. What made me start my bookish journey? I did 75 medium how many years ago? Almost two years ago now. And a part of 75 medium was to read any book 10 pages a day. And I started reading books and then I got attached to reading books. I have a very addictive personality. So once I found books that I liked, I just kept reading and kept reading and kept reading. And none of my friends were readers at the time. So I needed someone to talk to. And I've always been very active on like my Instagram, just even my personal Instagram. Well, I'm not active anymore because of my book stuff but I used to be very active on my other Instagram just like talking to my stories all the time and I used to post me crying and talking about these books all the time and I was like you know what I just I want to be able to talk to book people so I made my own book stuff and then I made my own book too and now here we are. Who are my top five auto buy authors? Oh, I, top five is a hard one. Sarah J Moss obviously anything that she will write I will read I, I will read Emily Henry is another one I don't know if she would be top five though she might be like literally number six no she's probably top five she's top five uh Abby Jimenez same thing love that love that woman Lucy score 1000 percent Liz Tomford now now I, I found her this year and now anything that she writes I will I will read I will read her shopping list. 100%. Is that five people? Sarah J. Mass, Emily Henry, Abby Jimenez, Liz Tomford, Lucy Score. That's five. If you could live for 24 hours in one book slash book world, which would it be? I would have to say Akatar. And that is such a cop out answer, and I don't even care. Actually, I just want everyone to know that when I say Akatar, I do mean A Court of Wings and Ruin that that's what I mean um I don't mean Akatar I just mean like that world okay just wanted to get that straight what are my other hobbies besides reading I if you would have asked me this f five months ago I probably would have said working out but I haven't been to the gym in so long I need to get myself back in there but I just I I can't so I'm not gonna say that I guess but what else? Um, I like to craft sometimes. I've been loving baking lately. Um, is YouTube a hobby? Is Bookstagram a hobby? Because <laughs> that's, that's really all I do. That's all that I do. Someone asked if I got sent books to me because they never see me do any book mail videos. Um, I feel like I get like book mail sent to me like around definitely around like my birthday around the holiday seasons but I don't normally just get like tons and tons of book mail and I'm also probably one of the most impatient people in the entire world so as soon as I get like book mail from a publishing company or an author I open it right away like I'm not one to just put it in the corner and not open it until I accumulate a lot of them could not be me I also just don't get enough to do that someone asked me if an engagement ring was on my Christmas list it's on my it's been on it's on every list that I can make every grocery list that I write I just also write an engagement ring on there <laughs> um but is it happening <sighs> you know <sighs> men I guess since we're talking about engagement rings we can also just answer the questions about Diego so I have how did you and Diego meet and how long have you and Diego been together. Diego and I met at the gym and we went to a gym that 
held like classes and I've learned recently that he went with his sister to like the morning classes and I go and I went in the afternoon with my parents and like my best friend and I like to think that one day he came to an afternoon class and he was like oh my god who is that girl she's the love of my life like that's what I like to think happened he says that's not what happened. I mean, he says he saw me and he thought I was the most beautiful, perfect, amazing human in the entire world, like to see. Um, but after he saw me, then he started coming to afternoon workouts and he started like talking to my parents a lot and like trying to worm his way into our group. <laughs> and I've said this in front of him, so it's okay that I say it again. And I don't particularly love strangers talking to me and I'm not a very open and welcoming person sometimes. That sounds like I'm a bitch and I I won't say that that's a lie. But anyway, I was always like, who is this kid? He's older than me by two years. Who is this kid talking to me? Like, why is he talking to my parents? Why, what is, what is happening? And he warmed his little way, well, he DM'd me randomly one day because I posted like a before and after picture. And he was like, you look so good. Like this whole long, long thing about how I'm amazing. And uh, then we started texting and then now we're dating. And we've been together for four years something around there. I don't, he's never actually asked me to be his girlfriend. So are we really dating? I don't know, but I do live with him. Um, and we do have three dogs together and yes, yep. Still, still waiting on the engagement ring. There's also another question on here asking about Diego's TBR, but he's not home yet. I'm hoping he's coming home soon. So maybe I'll be able to like ask him before he leaves because he he does have shit to do today. What are my favorite book accounts to follow on IG? Oh my gosh, I love this question. I have so many. I'm going to scoot over so I can put their Instagram handles here. Okay, let's talk about them. Okay, let's talk about my bestie forever. Mads for books. I love her. She is me in blonde form and just I love her. Okay. Her posts are adorable. Her stories make me giggle. And just as a human, she's one of my faves. Then we have Collectively Kins Reads. This is just another just bright light of a human. And she makes the cutest like graphics, like book graphics and writes reviews for books that like I know I can trust. And again, I love her to death. Okay. And then two absolutely amazing women who are actually besties themselves are Fire Breathing Book Queen and What Tori Reads. And both of their feeds are just the most gorgeous things in the entire world. All of their pictures are beautiful. They are beautiful. I just like, I could scroll through both of their pages all day long and get so much inspiration from these humans. I love them. I love them. I love them. Another absolute queen is Bookish Guarl. That's how I pronounce her name. How you may pronounce it, I don't know, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. She has, again, cutest pictures. Hands down, I look at her feed and I hate myself because they are so cute. I am obsessed with her. Okay, so that's the answer to those questions. Or that's the answer to that question. What else do we got? Oh, someone asked how I started my booktube. So I grew up watching YouTube. It's just something that I have literally always done. I don't know when YouTube really got big, but I feel like in high school is really when I started watching it. I remember watching YouTube videos with my best friend Sam all the time growing up. And Diego has, he's very, very supportive when it comes to me and my just social media endeavors. And he's always said like, oh, you could do a YouTube channel. You could do a YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. And last Christmas, him, uh, he got in cahoots with my dad and they gifted me this camera. And he was like, if, we get you this, you need to make videos, right? Like you're going to make videos. And I said, yes, yes, yes. And then I got it for Christmas and I told myself, Taryn, if you do not sit your ass down in front of this camera right now and record a video, you are never, ever, ever going to do it. So I shit you not the next week, I sat down, recorded a video, had no, literally no idea what I was doing. 
I started editing it on iMovie. I'm still learning how to use iMovie. I should probably find other editing platforms. I don't know. Do other people use other stuff? Should I probably look into that? Yeah, but I know how to work iMovie. Uh, well, kind of. We're learning as we go. I learned from then. I just, you know, you just kind of got to you just kind of got to do it. I've always felt very, very, very comfortable in front of a camera. Like I said, I used to talk to my Instagram followers all the time. I did the same thing on like Snapchat. I used to tell teacher stories on Snapchat all the time. So this is kind of not very different for me. I feel so confident in front of a camera. Talk to me in person, that's another story. But now here we are. It's been almost a year. Someone asked my top 10 reads of 2023 and I will not be answering that because I have an entire video for my top reads of 2023 and my not top reads, my least fave reads, of my bottom reads of 2023. What is your number one top read from every month of this year? Also a fabulous question, won't be answering it. Sorry, babe. What do I do to get out of a reading slump? I cry, I literally cry. <gasps> Diego's home. We can ask him about his TBR. Oh, Diego! What the heck? You trying to hit me with your pickleball paddle? I have a question for you uh, that you have to answer right now. Right now? Yes. Uh, I don't know I'm going to have the answer for you. People are asking me what is on your TBR. Do you know what TBR is? To be read. You're so smart. I watch all your videos. That's a whole lie. Do you want to go? Yeah. Here. Okay. Come on. Good thing I cleaned my office a little bit. Oh my gosh. I should just show them your office. I decorated Diego's office for Christmas last year and it's pretty cool. It's a little smidgen of a mess, but it's fine. <laughs> it was 10 times worse. <laughs> we just want to show them that part. Wow, look at Diego's whole little bookshelf. Wow. Wow. Best part. Okay. All right. Just give me top, what do you want to do, three or five? I don't know, let me figure this out. <laughs> I'll let you know in a second. You don't want to grab one of my books and put it on your TV? No. Sorry. Also, is an engagement ring on my uh, Christmas list? It's on your Christmas list. It's on your Christmas list. But... King is not helping you out of this. So Diego's a nonfiction bro. I've tried to fix him. It doesn't work. Here are my... This is my TBR. Y'all ready? Currently reading Green Lights. You see my, what is this called? A bookmarker? Bookmark? It's bookmark. It's my business card. All right. Next book up after Green Lights, I believe is gonna be The One Thing. Um, it's a real estate book, but it talks about, it's by Gary Keller, which is the owner of Keller Williams, Ooh. which I'm not part of, but he has some uh, great things here. I heard great stuff about it. And um, you're really supposed to focus on one thing at a time. And you know, I kind of focus on a lot of different things and then sometimes not everything gets done. So I think this is gonna be a good one. Next up, we got the 12 week year. Get more done in 12 weeks than others do in 12 months. That title confused me. So I'm glad it had that little second part on, part on there. Yeah. By? By Brian. Mor Moran. 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 And then I got this book. It's called Limitless. Upgrade your brain, learn anything faster, and unlock your exponential life. So basically it makes you smarter. By Jim Quick. By Jim Quick. You guys should look into him. He's, he's, on, he's very active on social media and Instagram. And um, this, this quote right here by Will Smith says, Jim Quick knows how to get the maximum out of, out of me as a human being. Unlock, unlock your potential. And then these two textbooks by Alex Hormozzi. 
you guys don't know him or if you want to run a business of any sort oh i see it's volume one and volume two volume one and volume two got right. it this is 100 100 million dollar offers 100 million dollar leads it's great he has like he's already started reading the first yeah i already one. started reading this one that's why it. he can say he's great <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i'm almost done with it i need to actually finish it it kind of started another book so shame on me but and then yep volume two after okay well thank you for your time really quick i thought about this this morning are you gonna I, propose to me oh i thought of this more what i thought of this morning was you just threw me off um that i'm not gonna allow myself to buy a book until i have read at least two that's very smart Right? Or I was thinking about three, but that's a little extra, that's a little stretch, you know? Should that be my thing too? <sighs> Yours needs to be <laughs> 10. <laughs> you need to read 10 books on your shelf before you buy one. Nah, that sounds dramatic. Okay, five. I liked two. You read two in like two days or one day. All right. It takes me way too long. Thank you for your time. Wait, can we just show my whole bookshelf? No, no. However. No. All right. Love ya. Love ya. Say bye. Bye. See you. Oh, guys. Check out this new pickleball pack. Okay. We're back. Okay. I think it was answering, what do I do to get out of a reading slump? And I answered, I cry. And that is pretty accurate. Um, but another thing that I do is just like, I listen to audiobooks. Uh, that's the one way that I can get out of a reading slump is just listening to audiobooks. That way I'm still getting books in, but it's just not me physically reading them. Cause that's normally what happens when I go through a book slump is I just like cannot get myself to pick up a physical book and read it. Like words just don't look appealing to me. Um, so listening to audiobooks really helps. Another thing is reading novellas just like books that kind of make me feel like i'm getting a lot of books in that helps me get out of the slump as well or just not reading at all last month i barely read books like for me and uh, now look at me i'm out of my slump so don't push yourself sometimes pushing yourself can cause you to go even more into a slump and i think that that is it i hope there's a hair I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to everyone who sent in questions. You got to get to know, I guess, a little bit more about me and my life and some of like the book stuff. Sorry I couldn't answer all of the bookish questions, but they just, they're gonna be other videos, guys. I'm sorry. But you'll still get your answers eventually. I hope you have an amazing day, night, week, month, and a year. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you have any other questions, you can leave them down below and I may or may not get back to you. It depends on what the question is. I love ya. Goodbye, beautiful humans.